All right, so Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It's about time. We recorded this before. Three episodes worth. Yeah, and it, the audio was bad. Technology is the light. I love Technology. this. Technology. My question, what is his accent? Second question, what is his haircut? Russian bowl cut. Terrible. Both of them. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, bow as a scientist and businessman that my I love this game. <laughs> that's what I was thinking about. Right. Oh, I was thinking about his awful Russian accent. Thank you. So that's Otto Octavius. Yeah. Nice words, Octavius. And nice words. Knew you the way I do. I wonder if they'd be so quick to applaud. Just yeah. Ready? Peter and then uh, Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. Look at, uh, why couldn't he have been done in Spider-Man 3 like he was in this game? I don't know. That would have been cool. Topher Grace it been is really not cool. Eddie Brock. I love Topher Grace, but no. Spider-Man? What's he doing? Gotta get into my costume and take out this imposter. But I can't get free of this crowd. But look how open the crowd. There's so much room to maneuver. Jameson would pay any price to get this kind of dirt on Spider-Man. Then they just bump oh, into each other. Oh, that was Eddie Brock. Who the? There's clearly no room. Whatever. Stay focused. Stealing Octavius's device. He's stealing Octavius's device. Wow. My camera. No. Not his camera. I want this to be like oh. a gift. Who is Spider-Man? He like, fits it perfectly. Uh, it's over. How? It's all over. I blew it again. I don't know. I oh, I do know. Already. I'll tell you later. Rock, you loser! You if loser. I had given a real photographer that job, I would finally have the evidence to send Spider-Man away. I like how this is you like his. <laughs> He's gonna get fired. He's like completely. <laughs> this is awesome. This is badass. Just wait. Oh my gosh. He's so oh, cool. that's such a cool character design. The music in the background. Yeah. Falls prey to the evil of I like how he thinks he's a good guy, too. He does? Yeah. He looks like a psycho. Venom is here. And if it's the last thing we ever do, Jameson and the insect are gonna pay. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. He thinks he's a good guy. He's just like, innocence has again fallen prey to the victim of Spider-Man. Wait, is Venom the main villain in this game? No, he is He is a villain in this game. He's not the main villain. There's a lot of villains though, right? Oh yeah, this game is packed full. This game is like playing a comic book. That's so cool though. That's how it should be. I think so too. It's really good. These two games are like the Arkham of Spider-Man. That's cool. I mean, like... That's a fair... I think that's a fair... Yeah, like, they comparison. do Spider-Man right. Yeah. It's just, it's too bad that the... You know, they're a little dated, the controls. Right. And, I mean, I don't know if you can, because I don't remember, but, like, with what we're playing this Who on... Oh, hey, Stan Lee. Stan he was even making cameos all the way back in, what is this, Peter made in, like, 2000? Yeah. The amazing wow. Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller. Packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns. More super villains than you can shake a web at. And of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. Of course, he was 17 years younger. I just wanted to let that play oh, out that's real quick. True. Then here comes Black Cat. Hey, Spider. She just dropped. Black Cat, <laughs> what's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed. And they've got hostages. Use your spidey compass to spidey get to the bank. Spidey, my spidey compass. Look at the compass. Get the pick up the question. Mark. Should I? They're just hey, they're just tips. Come they have the Riddler in this game too. When a building is they close do. Enough, you wow. can swing to it. Press the jump button and then press and hold the R two button. So something uh, I want to tell you, which if if at all at any point in the first you know twenty minutes it seems like phoning it in. It's because we've said all this to each other before, some of it. Yeah, a So I'm going to try to tell you some different things about this game uh, that I didn't tell you before. One of the Spider-Man things, like, uh, with this game is they hide a lot of, cam like, not cameos, but, um, what would you call them, uh, Easter oh, eggs, like, on the, uh, the billboards. Bank. References to other, um, 
references to other villains and stuff like that. Like, that's Otto Octavius. Uh, I think there's one with um, Carnage on it somewhere here. To find the bank. There's some really cool Easter eggs in this game. Even oh, from there's the a first, lot of Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah, it was the first three levels that we played through, and there were some really... Even outside of this game, like Captain America was one of them, and a few other that were just fantastic. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a lot of great Easter eggs in this. And uh, it's a little hard to control the combat, just because like I'm not used to it anymore, but when I was a kid, it felt like really good. It was really good um, combat for the time. And it's a little mashy, but it's much less mashy than like the later Spider-Man games got. Yeah. Because they, a lot of them hit a point that was like really just like X, 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 you know? The button mash, I know. So there's- Oh, there's Carnage! Yeah. That was something I wanted to point out. Cletus Cassidy, it's hard to control this camera. Biography on five, Cletus Cassidy, Carnage. It's pretty Sick. cool. There's a lot of okay. stuff like that. Uh, I think Wolverine is in one of them at some point. I'm sure the Riddler's on one of them, too. You should Why really focus Riddler? on catching those uh, trophies. They're everywhere. I'm really glad that that's not in this game. I love catching them. Off in the distance, oh, you can see the Fantastic trophies. Four building. That is really cool. Which we can go to. Isn't there an Easter egg over there, too? Yeah, there is. We'll go back to that in just a minute. And uh, for being 17 years old, this game still looks okay. Yeah, and the cutscenes really... I mean, this looks really good, honestly. For the time, yeah. They're just about to get smoked. Wow. And then what he says is pretty funny. Yeah, thanks for looking out for him, Spidey. Just sit there and watches him. These guys are serious. Oh my god. That's it. And the Fantastic Four building in the background there. These guys are serious. Sits and watches the cops fall to their deaths. Like, what a, what a great superhero. They do hate him. In this game? Yeah. No. I can't believe they shot down those police choppers. Yeah, just my luck. I'll probably get blamed for that, too. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that the bank ahead? He is very noble. The, co the cops don't matter. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, the you're going to blame me for those deaths, bank. aren't you? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Cat. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know. I Also, though, like, I get that, like, it's pretty primitive, like, with not being able to go, you know, on the ground. Right. But it's kind of fun how they did, like, a, um, they did an explanation of that, like, with the gas and stuff. It's not an amazing explanation, but it's better than just, like, yeah, you can't do that. Right, because a lot of games, even now, on the PS4 generation, will do that. Like, yeah, you just can't go down there. That's it. Or you can't, or you can't, uh, you know, swim. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Swimming's one of the worst ones. Or they'll just have invis like barriers that are like. Yeah, what? it's stupid. Why is there a barrier? There? And I don't know if you heard what he said, but he's just like, oh man, I guess the Fantastic Four aren't around right now. Like That's when you go to the building, cool. it's pretty fun. And I mentioned earlier too in the other recording, this game that right there kind of reminds me of the Lego Marvel game, yeah. which by the way was amazing. Yeah, you really like so many characters. The world is massive, and this kind of reminds me because it's so comic booky. And Stan Lee's makes a cameo. Oh, does it's he? Really good. Can you yeah. play as him in Lego form? I think if well, no, I don't know if you can. You're he's basically the Riddler trophies of the game. You have oh, to go okay. around and save Stan Lee like a hundred times. Oh, really? Yeah, he's like caught up in this webbing, like all over New York City and you have to find them. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty cool, though. That's right. It's the Jade Syndicate. I don't know who the Jade Syndicate is. If that's Never supposed to be a reference them. to something, I don't know. Yeah. I read a lot of the 90s Spider-Man comics and early 2000s. So that's, like, my background with Spider-Man. I haven't read... I, I don't believe I've read a single one, to be honest. By the way, I just murdered that man. Yeah, you... Spider-Man is ruthless. In this, yeah, you can be. That's the last one. Hope these hostages are still all right. I like how it breaks before he shoots the <laughs> yeah. thing. That was a mistake I remember from when I was a kid. Yeah, we'll save game progress. We're going to go a little bit further because we're making progress faster than uh, than usual. Since we, we already did it before. Yeah, we already dominated through it. There was a hard section, though, that I'm glad we kind of can go through this again, though. What do you it, mean? It, it took us like a half hour to climb up that one building. Oh, yeah, we can do that way faster now. works here. Because, uh, oh boy. because I know what I'm doing. I made a mistake there. So something I wanted to tell you about, which I think I already did, is that the suit 
You know how it's, um, there's no lines on it really other than the spider. Right. That was like a issue with like processing. I remember is that they like just did the suit without the lines because they couldn't do them. Oh, really? Yeah. They so it's just a limitation that they couldn't deal with. They couldn't really figure out how to render it from what I remember. Oh, okay. Um, but I don't know. I think it looks really good in, uh, in the second one, they do render the lines in the second Spider-Man game. Oh, okay. The graphics are much better in that one, I will say. Okay. Um, I feel like I have tank controls, though, because I just have these arrows. Right, you, you can't know, use so the like, analog stick. Yeah. No, it feels really awkward. And we are... Um, I own this game. We are emulating it off PS... or EPSXE. Um, oh, crap. Yeah, they will, like, kill the hostages. Will they really? Yeah, you have to protect them. Um... So we are emulating this, like, we have the disc in, and that's how it emulates it. So, like, occasionally, um, we have issues, like, trying to figure out how to enable the analog sticks. Like that yeah, that was a there battle. The yeah, that's, doors. I mean, it's still a battle. I don't know how to do it. By the way, one thing I noticed that is really cool, and that's still used in games today, is the, when, um, the guards are notified of your presence, or when they, like, no, you're there like that, like when that red arrow's above. I mean, that red arrow's always above, though. No, no, I'm saying that's in, like, that's, like, known in Assassin's Creed and other games. Like, that's still used today. Right. That system of, like, that's how you know that they are aware of your presence, is that red arrow. And that's, like, still used, so that's pretty cool. So, if we open that door and then this one, we can, like, go up. And they will come in here. And then can you trap them? Yeah, you can. Oh, whoops, wrong door. What are you doing? I have no idea. You blew it. I, I failed. You're a bad gamer. I mean, I'm not the best, that's for sure. <laughs> it's hard to, like, make fun of you if you have no self-esteem. I, yeah. Uh, that's, that's an issue, isn't it? It really... It's an issue for us all. It makes me feel bad. I hope so. Whoa! Jeez. So occasionally when we enter areas too, it like frame skips a little bit or loads. I don't oh, remember yeah. if it had that issue on the PS One or not. Um, I don't know, but I do know it had like frame rate issues. So. Oh right, yeah. It's doing pretty well so far though. Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to figure out where that comic book is that we picked up before. Oh, right. Didn't you beat this game, like, a hundred times when you were a kid? Yeah, a lot. It was, like, the main game I played for a long time. That's awesome. I really like the music. I really like the, um... I like all the levels a lot. There's not really much I dislike about this game, even in hindsight. Yeah, like, the level design's pretty amazing so far. Yeah. It uh, feels like a world, down. too. It doesn't just feel like you're going from level to level. It feels like a genuine world. Yeah, and I like the web cartridge aspect instead yeah. of just having unlimited organic webbing, which gets kind of old. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, whoops. Because, yeah, and, I don't know, it feels like, yeah, it's, it's a resource. You have to value more than just, like... And you can't cheese it, too, because otherwise you could totally cheese the webbing all the way through the game. Wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah, you can. The or voice you act. could, yeah. Yeah. You can't, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I was just, like, thinking about... Oh, no, please, no. Oh, crap. Oh, no! So they will shoot and take out the hostages. Like, you need to, like, strategically take the guys down so that there are not guys between the hostages and the door. Oh, okay. Or they'll gun them down and it'll be a mission fail. No. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say, the voice actors are pretty good in this game. They yeah, seem for, pretty solid. for late PS1, yeah, they're pretty good. I'm already at so out. this game, I actually think... Um, I don't know if it ever went up on the channel, but back when I did this with Chris, we tried out the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man first game. That's cool. In. Which maybe you and I can try out again at some point, but this feels like it holds up better to me. Really? Yeah, than that game, even though that game was a couple years later. Interesting. I remember that game being kind of fun, though, too. Oh, it was, yeah. But the same thing, like, wasn't the Amazing Spider-Man game, the first one was decent? I really like it. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, some people did one. I mean, people criticized it for copying Arkham's, um... For copying Arkham's combat. 
But I don't really care because that's good combat, and I'd much rather have that than button mashing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and like, what else do you do? Button mashing or like timed rhythm combos? Like exactly. that's that's it for like superhero games. I don't know what else you're gonna do. Well, another another game that does it and really didn't get panned that much was Shadow of Mordor. It had a pretty similar Arkham based combat. Oh yeah, and it was amazing. Like it was super. It was. It had a few other twists, and it was a lot more gruesome, obviously. But it, had the it was same like kind. exactly the same. Combat. Yeah, and it was really good. Like everyone loved that game. I haven't played it because Chris told me it was terrible. No, it's so good, dude. It's incredible. I mean, I'll I'll try it eventually because it is pretty cheap. Um, but you know, this is a really unpopular opinion. I wasn't a big Lord of the Rings fan, which is. I it's mean, weird because I really like fantasy, but like just the movies were very slow for me. Which and I kind of. I mean, they're really long, so you have to be a little patient in order to... And I'm not saying you're not patient, but it's just like, you have to kind of this time, work guys. through it a little bit. Yeah, that's what it kind of felt like, was working through it. Yeah, once you get to the, like, battles, though, and, like, get to know the characters a little bit more, it's incredible. It's really, really good. I'll have to watch them again. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for part one. If you guys liked the video, please definitely feel free to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel to see more. We want to do more Let's Plays, uh, more reviews. We do a lot of comic book stuff, toy stuff, video game stuff. So we'd love to have you along on the ride. We'll see you later.